but immediately Wilson has a chance for a shot. One. He certainly nicely played in, isn't he, after his week in Cheltenham. The three matches he won were all in deciders. Jack Lazowski, Judd Trump and John Higgins, and then he lost narrowly to Neil Robertson, 6-4. Yeah, it's a big match for him in some ways as well, though, isn't it? Because, you know, he's on on the cusp for the 16 on the one-year list without going into too many details of all that. But if he has a good run, he'll be playing in the next one of those at Southport, building on his ranking, everything, of course, leading up to the Crucible. Nine. This was the break-off shot. The cue seemed to fly around the angles there. It just kind of went a little bit too hard. Maybe Jackson Pages was practicing on a table that was a bit slower than this because he overhit that break off. Sixteen. Seventeen. Alfie Burden has beaten Amin Amiri for Morocco 4-0. That's the latest result. This first round, remember, coming to an end this evening. That's a good shot to get a red out. Yes, Amina Miri from Morocco, yet to win a frame on the it's tour. He's run into Judd Trump a couple of times. Barry Hawkins are now Alfie Burden, yet to, if you like, trouble the scorers. Not quite the right expression in this sport, but hopefully he'll learn from the experience and it's not going to demoralise a player that, hoping to make a breakthrough from a country that's not known for snooker. And the result, James Watanar has beaten Jimmy White 4-2. So the battle of the main tour wildcards has been won by Thailand's James Watanar. Particularly good rest player, I know we always say it, but I only say it because I don't think I've seen too many times he's missed with it. The reds are very nicely spread here. I'm not suggesting he's going to stay on the black all the way through or anything like that. I wouldn't dare. But they're nicely scattered a bunch of reds. This was a good shot. I mean, it was a beautiful split. I know a red came out, and that was the one he was on, but he played it well. This is one of these situations where it's as easy to stay around the black as it is play on a lower value colour. There is a red up into the yellow pocket. I don't know if he's looked at it yet, but he might come round to it. And if he's right behind it, you know, he, ah, here he is, just spotted it. About four options, all of which would probably leave him on the black. So we were speaking about 147s last night, and I think we made the point, didn't we, that the 21 147s in the season is just not going to happen. I mean, we've not got anywhere near the numbers. That's not to say I wouldn't enjoy seeing one this afternoon, because that's just uh, always a great moment. Yeah, and I'd say Karen Wilson would be the sort he'd want to make it, regardless of the, the rewards. 48. He has made one in his career at the International Championship 2017. 
Yes, it's a wonderful occasion, and uh, I suspect you'll stay on the black here. So, not that you weren't anyway, but stay tuned to this. This is a, a little bit of a chance. Oh, don't go behind that red. If he's on the other one, it's all right. But he wanted to be on the red at the bottom of the bunch. 56. He may have to change his plan here now. He's gone to the bottom of the cue ball, though. I like it. Screwing back for the black, I think. Well done, Kyron. 57. Like your style. Frame not at one yet. Of course, always priority. Of course, this is a long-running event. The Welsh Open, first stage, 1992. We've had eight maximum breaks, including two last year. Neil Robertson and Nopin Senkarm each made one last year. Oh, that was a wonderful little shot there, just in the gap. 64. It's not a question of just getting on the black, it's getting an angle each time to make position on the next red easy. And he needs one more red after this black goes in, and the frame is then safe. And then if he wants to continue along this route, then a lot of people would like to see it 72. here at Cardiff today. That's right, if you're a paying spectator, you don't really care what the prize is. You, you want to see the 147. It's not straight here. Might, I hope he... I thought he might just flick that other red, which he hasn't done. That's good. Yeah, we've had four this season. Tom Ford's had two, Stuart Bingham and Barry Hawkins one each. The prize set up was... If 20 are made during the season then the players who make them split a million pounds Eight. but it's uh, not going to happen now surely but anyway Karen Wilson can still make one here Eighty-one. yes I'm just looking at the only red that's awkward is the one by the pink I think that might have to be shifted at some point it's only awkward because for now there's not enough of it out in the open to, to pot it don't think anyway. That's also well played. Top side. He's taken these particularly well. 88. Eighty-nine. Just, just think he might consider playing the cannon here on the red by the pink. That way he can do it and get on another red, not the actual red he's playing. Quite a big shot this, I think, in the run-up to a potential maximum break. Delightful. Really good. Well, we've had 155 official maximums, but I wonder, Neil, how many of those have been made from a player getting in their first visit of the match? Jackson Page broke off. Wilson got in immediately. I shouldn't should think very many, if any at all. Anyhow. And we're all snooker fans. and It's always the same. We're always willing on the player to do it. 97. I don't know what put him off there, look behind him for some reason. Anyway, back to his routine. Again, that's a lovely place on it. Always high on every red brings an easy shot to get on the black. 104. So get, things getting very interesting here. I would say this must be a first if he made it. First visit of the entire match at 147. One hundred and five. Yeah, I always make this point that the pink would never be on its spot because it would have had to have been moved, and it's not been moved very far. 
So that will be the pink at the end of the break if he gets that far. He's gone a little bit too far here. Now, would he just want to roll it in? Ideally, he'd have wanted to play on the red in the middle because that way it's a better option for getting back on the black again. But I think he can't do it now. It's in. Has it got the pace? That's not bad. Again, he can get through on the black. Could be the black into the same pocket as the red that he's taking. Very good. It's to slow down. An angle is not a bad thing on the black. That's okay. Straight would be no good. Without wishing to, really without wishing to jinx it, Corin Wilson is a great rest player. We always say it about him. The 15th black. Well, that's okay again. He stopped in time, and this really is as good a chance as it gets. Just a little soft screw to hold for the green. 122. Just about holding your nerve, which uh, is easier said than done, but Corin Wilson's made a tough stop. They call him the warrior. 125. Four more balls to make a maximum break from his first visit to the table in this match. Jackson Page broke off. Wilson knocked in a long red. And he's still going. 124. He's gone a little bit far as he... He's not as straight as he'd like to be. It's a slightly angle to take him away from the black. But not too bad. Beautiful shot. And what a fabulous break this has been. 11th of January 1982, Steve Davis made the first official maximum. 11th of February 2020, Karen Wilson, the black for the 156th. Fantastic. Fantastic break from Karen Wilson, first visit to the table in the match. He makes a 147. Impossible to start better than that. Absolutely brilliant stuff and congratulations to him.